Jalen, we've heard from Coach Heupel, Coach Golish, and, and now Coach Pope, and all three of those guys have, have talked about what a different mindset you have this August compared to last August mm -hmm. and how that's showing up on the field. Can you, you know, how, how did you arrive at that point where you are now? What, what was kind of your motivation? Um, I think uh, motivation-wise, um, I just want to just I just want to have a better seasons for me. You know, um, I felt like uh, last season that wasn't uh, what I do as far as when I play. Um, and not only that, uh, I wanna I wanna do well for these uh, my for my, te for my teammates. You know, um, they're always there. Uh, I love every once like every every guy here, and um, I think that was one of the reasons why. Jalen, obviously a lot of the talk around you in the spring was, was positive and taking steps in the right direction. What was the key to kind of continuing continuing that momentum into workouts in the summer and now into camp? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is, you know, camp. But as far as, uh, I mean, we, we still haven't even played a game yet. Um, I think that's why I'm still going, you know. Uh, we hadn't even started. Um, and I just want to try keep going hard every day. Um, you know, no matter where I'm at, you know, even if I'm at home watching film or if I'm up here watching film, I just want to go 100% every day. You know, last year I felt like every I didn't get everything out of every day, so that's what that's one of the biggest changes I did. Up uh, front, John. Can you give us your thoughts on some of those freshman wide receivers and what stands out about them? Yeah, um, you know, Squirrel. A uh, great player, fast player. Uh, he kind of reminds me of myself when I came as a freshman, you know, kind of small. But one thing about him, I love his mentality. Um, I love when how physical he can be, um, even with the small frame he has. Um, Chaz, another great player. I felt like when him and outside were said, you know, helping him out, um, he definitely uh, responded well with said, um, helping them, teaching them how, you know, what to do, you know, with press or just anything like that, you know, because we're in the SEC, you're going to see press about 90% of the time. So for the outside guys, you know, you got to be physical with that. And I felt like Chaz has done great and Squirrel has done great too. Yeah, Jalen, two, two things over here. One, was there a moment where you watched tape or, or you sit down and you said, you know what, I, I'm just, I'm not getting, I'm not giving anybody the best version of me. When was that moment? And two, was there any times this summer where you had to fight staying kind of in the mode you're in right now? Um, you know, last year it was, it was hard on me. You know, I think uh, I lost my conf uh, confidence. Uh, didn't really know the offense as well as I know it this, uh, this year. Um, wasn't going as hard last year. And not only that, I think Bayless helped me a lot when he was here. Um, you know, a guy who stood up, uh, took over the role when I couldn't, and, when, um, and he did what he had to do. Um, and just watching him, how he played, uh, seeing what you know you can do when and when you play well, um, I think that was one of the biggest reasons. Uh, you know, adversity. I ain't, you know, when in high school, uh, I didn't really go through a lot of adver uh, <coughs> adversity because you know high school is kind of easy as far as football. But you know, when you get up here, you're in the SEC. You know, you're going against big time athletes, big time players. So uh, I just need, I need, I, <coughs> I need, I know how to change that. So I had to change it now. Like stop, like stop working. Uh, you saying like stop working or Not just stop working, but, but anything where you know maybe some of those habits try to creep back in, or have you just been that locked in the way you were? In man, hey, <laughs> I've been locked in this year. You know, um, every day I wake up, man, just circling that first game, man. I'm ready to go. Um, that's one thing I can say about myself this year. You know, last year if you asked me the question, um, I don't know what I could tell you, but this year, man, I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Yeah, Jalen, how do you make sure that, that that level of locked in and, and all these differences translates into that first game and, and the games throughout the season? Yeah, um, you know, we're here, this is the SEC, you know, we have the University of Tennessee. Uh, we have great guys here, uh, great receivers here. Um, you know, last year it taught me, well, uh, you know, when you don't play to the standard where you need to be at, you're going to be on the side. You're not going to be playing. You know, we're, we're here at the University of Tennessee, great athletes, great receivers here. Um, but. The reason why I work so hard, man, I just want to do it for these teammates. You know, I want to respect. Um, you know, I feel like when I go out there, especially this year, I feel like I'm the best slide in the country, and that's what I want to do every day. Jalen, we talking about uh, Bayless Jones and Cedric Tillman. When you saw the way they emerged, was there part of you that said, yes, if I apply myself the way did, they did, that can be me? 
you know, what's crazy about it, Bayless told me, you know, he told me when he left, he was like, man, you know, he had a conversation with me, um, you know, right before he left and started training for the draft, uh, for the combine. He, you know, he sat me down and, um, you know, because he knew I was going through stuff, um, especially last year. Uh, you know, he sat me down, you know, told me, you know, what you can do out of this offense. Um, we watched film together. You know, this is all before he left. This is why I say this is the brotherhood because, you know, that's something a lot of people don't do. And that's why I have so much respect for him. And I thank him for everything he has done because, you know, maybe the man I am today. Jalen, a couple things. I think in the spring you said you wanted to be at close to 190 around the start of the season. Did you get there? Where are you at now? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I wish I was 190, man. But, you know, with camp, uh, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard. But right now what I'm trying to maintain, I'm trying to maintain the 180 just throughout camp. Um, and then, you know, when we start getting more as far as easier and get out of camp mode and back to the season, you know, my main focus is trying to get to 187. Um, you know, 190 probably be a next year goal. Um, but I want to be playing at 187 this year for sure. And, and Mike asked you about sort of translating everything you've done this offseason. How do you make sure that you talk about circling the first game? How do you make sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself to – I'm sure you want to make sure that you yeah. show everything you've done mm -hmm. over these past eight months. Um, How do you make sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself and, and are able to handle it if it maybe doesn't go your way right off the bat? Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing um, last year – uh, I think I did. That was another reason why I didn't play the, to the standard was, you know, I was worried about stats, man. I was worried about things off the field that you're not really supposed to be worried about. You know, this year <clears throat> I'm having more fun. You know, I have more fun out there, um, especially with the teammates. Uh, I love our quarterback. I love our running backs, man. And, um, you know, as far as mentally, you know, this is the game where uh, mental-wise, if you're not up to, up to par, man, it can drag you down, you know, and, just everything, just keep everything on the field, man. When you're off the field, I try to, you know, don't think about football at all. Think, you know, talk to my family. You know, whatever that gets me away from football, you know, I try to just do that. But uh, mentally-wise, man, I feel good. I'm ready to go. I feel good. You, you talk about how easy it was in high school. Even when you first got here, you made plays as a freshman. And then last year, you kind of hit that wall. Today's, you know, era of, you know, kids calling other kids at other schools saying, hey, come, we need a receiver, come play here. I mean, did, did it ever enter your mind to leave? And, and, and did you, when did you just kind of make the decision, and I, and I want to lock in here and, and, and be the guy here? Yeah, um, you know, I never, had a, I never had any conversations about leaving. Um, I think what it was was uh, Coach Pope, you know, when Coach Burns was here, um, again, uh, Bayless, uh, they, they, all, they all was around me, you know, when I was going through stuff, man, and that's why I thank him so much. And Coach Pope, he pushes me so much. Um, you know, he wants the best out of you. He wants the best out of all of, all of, all of our receivers. So um, I think with that aspect, what he has done, you know, it made me I – I, I hadn't even thought about, you know, any transfer things, any, any of that, because I can tell what we can do in this offense. This offense is going to be the best in the country. You know, I can tell you that right now. So um, that's why, I, you know, I didn't want to leave at all. Man, I love these guys. You said that about 90 percent of the teams in the SEC play press coverage. It, how, are you been impressed with what you've seen out of Squirrel White as far as beating press coverage? It seems like folks are getting a hard time putting their hands on him. Yeah, he's we got him in the slot. Um, we got him working in the slot. Um, you know, I try to stay on him just as far as when he's not in the game. You know, are you you watching? Are you watching the guys in front of you? Are you paying attention? Are you seeing what the defense are in? Are you you know seeing what the safeties are doing? Seeing safety structure? Um, just with Squirrel, uh, he's not you know he's not gonna get a lot of press, especially in the slot, but. Um, you know, Chad is definitely going to get the press. Uh, Caleb, you know, guys like that. But uh, Seth are definitely Seth's definitely getting them right as far as uh, how they're training. But you know, I try to stay on Squirrel because, like I said, he reminds me of myself, man. And I don't want him to hit a, a wall at all. You know, I want him to go full speed. And you know, with a guy like him, um, only thing you got to do with him is confidence. You know, make sure he's confident on the field. When he's confident on the field, man, he's dangerous. So you have big time speed. Squirrel has big time speed. Samson has big time speed. Is that a different aspect of this year's team? All that speed on offense? Yeah, we have a lot of speed in that room. Um, a lot of speed. Uh, I think. To be, I think three. Of, you know, three of us can easily run 23 miles per hour in that room. Um, you know, it's definitely a different room from last year. And, and you know, the years I've been here, um, definitely faster guys. Uh, and especially with this offense, that's what you need. You know, you need guys to go over the top. You need guys to get the ball to them, ball in hand guys, what they can do with the ball. Um, and that's what it is in that receiving room, man. We're fast, explosive. Thanks, Jalen. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.